in this problem, we are given one angle of a regular polygon. So it's a regular polygon. That means all the angles are 135. And we're being asked to find the number of sides of this polygon. So this is an interior angle. So how are we going to do that? If this was a, a square or a rectangle, um, I guess it would be a square since it's a regular polygon. All the sides are the same. You would know this would be 90 degrees. So that would be pretty easy. Uh, what do we do when it's 135 degrees? Well, we have a formula already for the sum of the interior angles of a polygon. That is 180 times the number of sides minus 2. If you wanted to find just one side, well, this is the sum. You'd divide it by the number of sides there are. So this would be s divided by n. Uh, and you could balance the equation by dividing the other side by n. So this right here is a formula for the number of sides uh, in a polygon uh, based on the measure of one interior angle. So I can replace this part with 135. And over here, we've got 180 times n minus 2, all divided by n. So how are we going to solve this for n? We've got two n's in here. One's on the bottom of a fraction. One's inside parentheses on the top of a fraction. I think the first thing I would do is multiply both sides by n. So I would get 135n equals 180 times n minus 2. And then let's go ahead and distribute this 180. So over here I've still got 135n. And here I've got 180n minus 360. And then let's see, I can subtract 180n from both sides. And if I do that, I should get 45, negative 45n over here, and negative 360 over here. And then all I need to do is divide both sides by a negative 45. And I should have it. And I think when you do that, you get n equals 8. So this is an octagon. And every regular octagon is going to have an, an interior angle measure of 135 degrees.